And so let's talk about uh, this most commonly encountered knee region bursa, the Baker cyst, aka the popliteal cyst. And when we uh, talk about a Baker cyst or popliteal cyst, what we're saying more technically is that this specific bursa, the semimembranosus gastrocnemius bursa, is inflamed. So uh, anatomically, again, very important, uh, we need to recognize that the semimembranosus gastrocnemius bursa is located in the posteromedial aspect of the knee. And more specifically, the semimembranosus gastrocnemius bursa or recess is located between two tendons, the medial head of the gastrocnemius and the semimembranosus. The mnemonic that we use to teach our residents and fellows for identifying correctly the location of a Baker cyst is that bakers make M&Ms, hence the, um, the little reminder here with the, the M&Ms. So bakers make M&Ms. We're looking for a cyst, an inflamed bursa, tracking between these two specific tendons, the semimembranosus and the medial head of the gastrocnemius in the posteromedial aspect of the knee. Um, certainly, this bursa can be primarily in inflamed uh, due to involvement by a primary uh, synovial pathologic process like rheumatoid arthritis or gout, but more commonly, uh, a popliteal cyst or a Baker cyst is due to primary knee pathology. Osteoarthritis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis occurring intraarticularly within the knee causes inflammation, causes a fluid buildup, which then decompresses posteriorly into the Baker's cyst. Um, why is it so important to recognize the anatomy of a Baker cyst before identifying it as such? Well, uh, it's because we are all um, uh, commonly identifying these posterior knee masses, and we're so uh, quick to characterize them as Baker cysts. And while most of them are Baker cysts, we need to be cognizant of the fact that uh, aneurysms, uh, soft tissue sarcomas, and hematomas in the context of trauma can also present as posterior knee masses.